Now we're going to get in to our financial performance measures. The first thing we're going to consider is measuring profitability. Clearly, how profitable a company has been is going to be a key indicator of the company's financial performance. Now, there's a number of different ways in which profit performance can be measured. What we are going to focus on in this session is something called return on capital employed. Or R-O-C-E. Return on capital employed is measured as profit before interest and tax divided by capital employed. And multiplied by 100% to express it as a percentage. And what will this tell us? Well, the reason we look at profit before interest and tax is because this is the measure, the profit measure, which is within the control of management. If tax rate goes up, that is government policy. There's nothing management can do about that. So we don't want to include the impact of any tax rate changes when we're assessing the profit performance of the company. Capital employed is effectively the money which has been invested in the business. So when we look at return on capital employed, what we are trying to ascertain here is how much profit or how much return have we gotten given the amount of money which has been invested in the business. So what we'll do now then is look at an exercise. So we're told a company has two divisions operating within a single industry and we have financial information for the past two years. So we have two divisions, East and West, and we've been given their capital employed and their profit before interest and tax figures for the two years. And very straightforward, all we have to do is calculate the return on capital employed figures for each division for both years. So we'll set up a little table. We've got year one. In year two and we've got our divisions east and west. So our return on capital employed will be profit before interest and tax divided by capital employed. So looking at east division for year one, their profit before interest and tax is 300 and their capital employed is 4,000. So the return on capital employed, 300 divided by 4,000, multiplied by 100%. If you punch that into your calculators, you should come up with 7.5%. Very straightforward. Looking at year two, we see that their profit stays the same, and their capital employed has gone down. So calculating our return on capital employed, 300 divided by 3,800 multiplied by 100%, you should get 7.89. So what can we say about Division East? <clears throat> we can say that their performance has improved over year one to year two. Even though their profit figure has stayed the same, they have reduced the amount of capital or investment they need in order to run the business. If we look at Division West for year one, they have a profit figure of 100 and capital employed of 600. Multiply that by 100% and we get 16.67%. Doing the same thing for year two, we see their profit is 105 divided by capital employed of 630 and multiplied by 100%. Ooh, do we get the same thing? 
16.67%. So West Division has been consistent across the two years. And just the important thing to note here is look how different the capital employed figures are for each division. Clearly, East Division is much bigger. The capital employed for East Division is significantly higher. But because return on capital employed is expressed as a percentage, we can use it to compare the performance of divisions of different sizes. So we can say here that the performance of West Division is significantly better.